let's get more on what we might be able to or might not be able to expect in the budget later on today. Steve Chobo, he's the Parliamentary Secretary to the Treasurer. Joining us now, Steve, thanks very much for speaking to us. I know you're not going to be able to tell me what's going to be uh, hard and fast in the budget. Uh, we'll get those details when we go into the lockup shortly. Uh, but there's some concern out there that cuts that we might see to spending uh, could really derail the green shoots that we're seeing in the domestic side of the economy. Of course, we're rebalancing from that sure. mining-led investment boom into domestic consumption. Fears that some things, for instance, the debt levy on higher income earners might derail confidence. How are you going to mitigate that if it, if it happens? Well, of course, we're very mindful about what the potential impact is from fiscal consolidation. Uh, none of us want to make sure that, well, I should say, none of us want uh, the outcome to be that there is a slowdown. So we have been mindful of that in terms of the fiscal consolidation pathway that we've got. Uh, in addition to that, what we're also doing, though, uh, is making sure that we're shifting from sort of a consumption short-term budget towards an investment budget with a longer-term focus. And a key part of it, which the Treasurer has already outlined, is what we're doing in terms of the roads projects and the roads funding. And so a key part of that is going to see stimulation uh, across the economy as a result of our very big infrastructure projects. Yeah, we know, we've already heard that, that it's about $80 billion over six years from a mix of state and uh, federal funding. Where else will the infrastructure story uh, be played out? Of course, that was for a roads package. What else can we expect later on today? Well, I'm not going to disclose any great surprises to you. Uh, you'll have to wait until the budget tonight. But obviously, uh, we are very focused, and the Prime Minister has said time and time again that he wants to be an infrastructure Prime Minister. So our focus is going to be upon making sure that we see investment in productive infrastructure, a shift away from short-term spending, and we think ultimately that's going to be in the best interests of all Australians. OK, Singapore's got a question for you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Steve, it's Oriel here in Singapore. Uh, I'm interested in the impact that you think that the budget's going to have on, on business and big business and small business uh, in Australia. I mean, of course, we've talked a lot over the last few years about the mining tax, which is obviously no longer on the table. Has there been any discussions about another form of tax that might be similar to that one? Uh, well, not under the coalition. We're very focused on making sure that we keep taxes as low as possible, Oriel. Uh, we want to make sure that we've got a credible pathway back uh, to a surplus. We want to make sure that we've got fiscal consolidation that ultimately is going to be in the long-term interests of all Australians. So we're not looking at imposing any surprise taxes or anything like that. In fact, Oriel, we're still fighting to get the opposition to agree to the mandate that we clearly had from the last election, which is to abolish the carbon tax and the mining tax. So we ask the Labor Party again to get out of the way, let us do what we were elected to do, and that's to reduce the overall tax burden on the Australian people. But we are likely to get higher taxes of some form coming through in this budget, right Steve? Well, look, there's a lot of speculation in relation to there being a temporary deficit levy on Australia's highest income earners. We're talking about the top three or four percent of income earners. Now, ideally, we wouldn't do this, uh, but the reality is that we have to fight a very strong headwind, and that strong headwind uh, was the former government, which spent like there was no tomorrow, um, no tomorrow, Oriel, uh, which actually led to an outcome where we have $123 billion of cumulative budget deficits that were forecast, a debt pathway that was going to see us arrive at $667 billion worth of debt. In our view, this is not something that's sustainable, it's not something that we want to see continue, it's not something that we want to reach, and so we're taking concrete steps to make structural changes in this year's budget to make sure that we start to undo all of that crazy spending and get us on, a, as I said, a more fiscally consolidated platform so that we don't uh, see the kind of debt and deficit that we were projected to reach. You mentioned uh, that before the election the Prime Minister uh, said that there would be no new taxes. Uh, and that taxes would be lower under the coalition, yet you just uh, referred to the likely deficit levy that we could see later on. And there's been uh, a lot made, uh, particularly in the domestic media here in Australia, about broken promises from the Prime Minister. What do you have to say then to the community and to business uh, who believe that there wasn't going to be any new tax, but then it looks like we might get one? Well, I think the Australian people understood uh, when we went into the last election that we were going to do several things. We said we'd stop the boats and all the costs associated with an influx of some 50,000 asylum seekers. We said that we'd uh, invest in productive infrastructure, and in particular we want to focus on uh, building roads, and we said that we'd get the budget back on a pathway to being sustainable and back on a pathway to getting back into the black. That's what tonight is going to be about.
All right, we're out of time. We'll let you, uh, I imagine, go into the lockup now as everyone else is doing. Steve Chobo, thanks very much for joining us. That was Steve Chobo, the Parliamentary Secretary to the Treasurer. Uh, we've still got uh, a few more bits and pieces coming up throughout the afternoon, Oriel, uh, and then, of course, the budget later on. Back to you.